Hey there, Kuren here. Let's talk Otome Game Sekai Episode 9. So this one is okay, also a little bad. We have Livia being sad, the Murasaki guy kind of redeeming himself a little, then being dumb again, a little more about Mari, then the pirate battle and the aftermath. So about Livia. I don't hate her, I'm just not fond of characters that do some things like, in this case, be a little unreasonable. She kind of took it out on Leon. I can let it pass because it's an emotional response. You can see people unload on others that have nothing to do with their problems. But then this part here happens. Oh no, we are under attack by ships with cannons and big armors and Leon is fighting. Let's just go outside, put yourself on danger for no reason. It seems silly to me. You know Leon is OP. You've seen him dispatch the other pirates. Even if she was worried or wanted to help, she can't. And like we see, she complicates things for the others. And yeah, it was a nice redeeming scene for the red and purple guys. These guys want to help, so they get some armors. They take on the boss pirate to save Lydia. They kind of don't have a chance. I don't know where do they get their huge confidence. Well, they are a little dumb. They are good as beginners, but they don't have any real better experience. But hey, they did save Lydia. At least got Leon some time to get there. Leon fighting against the armors. Well, it just seems like a bag of bricks going through the target, not much animation. He sees Livia and the others in trouble and gets into serious mode. He takes out an axe, rushes to their help and takes on the boss. Not a big deal. He destroyed the guy. It's been long since I read the novels, but I think the scene was a little more grim. Here it was just meh. I'm surprised that he could grab the necklace with the giant robot hands. The necklace. We know it's the saint's necklace. He grabs it from the scraps there on the floor. So what's the deal? The guy tells him, hey, give it back. It's important. Then why was it there on the battlefield? So about the Murasaki guy at the beginning, he had a little sparring with Leon. Not bad. He didn't win, but he showed some growth. Then at the battle, he saved Lydia. He was doing good. And then he goes back to idiot, hitting the table with his injured hand. The part with Mari. It seemed dumb. Mari in full armor. She shouldn't have that, at least for me. She doesn't fight, or at least she uses magic, so the full knight armor doesn't suit her. Running away from the monster with her slave. I know it was done for the giggles, but doesn't do it for me. Also, in the novels, it looked more like a serious scene. What she was doing there, how she prepared. Here, she was just there, running from the monster. It looks silly. And Leon. He saved the day again. What happens next? He gets promoted. <laughs> then he's like, fine. Hey, you have a letter. The father of that girl who had a racing track on her house thanks him and gives him an air bike. Nice. And he recommended him for another promotion. Shit. <laughs> he keeps getting more rank. Poor Leon. That's what he doesn't want. And it seems he at least enjoys the company from the girls. But Lydia here, it's been like that. And Angie at the end there slaps the guy for no apparent reason. I mean, you know why? It's not his fault though. But either way, you're getting the slap. And like most characters, they take it. Hmm. Seiya from Coach's Hero wouldn't have taken the slap. Or Kusuma with his true gender equality attitude. I like that he gets the evidence and they get that bitch. Let's see who you bully in prison. Well, I don't know if they have prison there, but maybe they just drop them from the floating islands. Anyway, Leon there looking like a boss, getting the reports from Luxion, having a little fantasy moment, dreaming of having the waifu harem. But nope, that would be the more typical isekai anime. And okay, enough of this one for now. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, leave a like, a comment if you want, and see you in the next one.